Today we've got my MacBook Pro taken apart. We're gonna show you how to do some cool upgrades using OWC devices. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers. Welcome to Geekazine Geek Smack Review where we show you products, we review products, we interview people, and we take apart computers. It's all about technology in the Geek Smack Review where we geek out every single time. All right, we're going to uh, do the reset here. So I'm gonna go up to here, I'm gonna hit restart, and I'm gonna hit start at the same time. So three, two, one. One minute, 23 seconds. And then we're gonna go three, two, one. about 18 to 20 seconds. Our friends over at OWC have given me a great little package here. A lot of different products, including this thing right here. It is the Mercury Extreme Pro 6G SSD solid state drive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my MacBook Pro. Now, of course, we, uh, we now know that the next version of Mac OS 10, 10.10, is gonna be called 10.10 .10 Yosemite. And of course, uh, come about fall, we're gonna start seeing new MacBooks come out for Yosemite. I have an early 2011 MacBook, which works perfect, but the hard drive, it's getting a little bit old. I actually switched it out with a, what's called a hybrid SSD drive. So it's part SSD drive, part hard drive. And uh, I put that in and that helped out with some of my uh, usage of the, of the device, but I wanna make this faster, stronger, better. So ultimately what's gonna happen is this. I'm gonna have the hard drive in here. I'm gonna have my hybrid hard drive actually re be uh, replacing the DVD drive. And the DVD drive is gonna be coming into its own enclosure. And that's what these parts are for. So I'm gonna show you that now. This is everything that I got from OWC. All right, here we have the full, everything that I got from OWC. I just patent, took it out of the box. Of course, they also sent me all the fun documentation for each device here. So we're gonna set that aside. But basically, this is what we're gonna be doing here. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be putting new memory into the machine. That's this OWC, it's 16 gigabytes worth of memory for my early uh, 2011 MacBook Pro. Um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change out the hard drive. I've got a hybrid hard drive in there right now. This one is the OWC Mercury Extreme at uh, 500 gigabytes, so it should be more than enough to hold the operating system and do some of the functionality that I need it to do. And then uh, when I'm done with like video and stuff like that, I'm gonna move it over to my hybrid drive, which will be either in one video, it will be here on this uh, OWC Express USB 3.0, let me open it up. It's a, it's a drive enclosure. So I'm gonna show you how to put that into the, uh, into, the, into the drive enclosure, the hard drive. And then of course the other idea is to take this. Now this is the OWC Data Doubler. And basically what this does is this allows me to take out the DVD drive and put a hard drive in its place. In this case they have a SSD, but I'm going to put the hybrid drive into the Data Doubler place. And then of course if I do need the DVD, I can, I can use this OWC Laval Value Line Super Slim to add, I'm gonna put this in here. Of course, as you can see, it's, it's gonna open it up. It's just the case. And I'm gonna put the, the DVD drive in here uh, to use if I do need a DVD system. And it'll be perfect because if I need to use it for another laptop, I could also uh, hook it up via USB and go from there. So that's what we've got here. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is, this This is gonna be a multi-part video. The first video that we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how straightforward it is to actually remove and replace not only the memory, but also the hard drive to put in it in an SSD drive. And uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward, so I've got the overhead uh, camera going on right now. Let's do that right here. Now I've already taken the screws out of the bottom side of my MacBook Pro. There are several screws, they're very small, so have an area where you can hold them in. I had a friend that actually used uh, a piece of paper and uh, like the little putty stuff, and then he put the screws in the little putty so they didn't roll away. I've got them in a nice cup over here. Uh, note which ones are the small screws and which one are, those are the big screws. Usually in this, in this model, the two in the back are the bigger screws, and then everything else is a smaller screw. So we're gonna take off this case here, and I'm seeing a little bit of dust, and I don't have my air can anywhere. Oh, actually I do, right here. How convenient. So I'm gonna set that right there. I'm gonna take my air duster can, which is right here. I'm just gonna kind of, whoops. Take out part of the air there, making sure that, because uh, I'm, the, the, uh, I'm tipping the can, which is causing the air to burst out cold. And you don't want that to happen but I want to get some of the dust out of there. So I'll do that a little bit more off the scene there. Uh, but that's basically it, you lost the screw, or the, the straw, that was kind of funny, so. All right, so this is the early 2011 model uh, MacBook Pro. As you can see, we've got two fans in here. We've got uh, the computer board, we've got the battery right here. Um, we've got the hard drive right here, and then uh, right here is the, uh, CD, or the DVD drive. Um, which we will be taking out in a future episode. Now, <clears throat> before we start anything, we want to make sure that we're grounded. The best way to do that is to touch a piece of metal on the notebook that's not a component of by any means, like for instance the DVD drive, metal right there, and then turn around and touch something metal on, on you, like uh, this, the table legs are metal or this uh, this microphone stands metal, so I, I touch that, so I'm now grounding myself, so now I can work by pulling stuff out. We're going to start with the hard drive, because I've already pulled that out there. Um, we've got the hard drive here, we've taken out those screws. There's a couple screws right here, which we have to take out as well, to bring up this part. So I'm going to take that screw out, I'm going to take this screw out and take this piece right here out. And, and you, you, the screws can pretty much pretty much stay in there, so that's, that's pretty cool. We'll set that down right there. And then we're going to take, and I'm using small screwdrivers, this little small screwdriver set that I got at, uh, at a local Ace or True Value or, or whatever hardware store you have nearby, whether it's a Lowe's or something like that. And because this, does, this is not a standard Apple hard drive, the standard Apple hard drives actually have a little uh, thing that you can pull up. But I'm just going to use this, and usually uh, I, I have plastic too, where I can just kind of use it to bring it up just a little bit. If you're, not, if you're a little bit concerned about it, just try and use something not, not metal, like a screwdriver. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty secure in actually doing it this way. And then of course the plug is right here. Don't pull too hard, you don't want to ruin that ribbon. So we just want to pull this plug right out. And we've removed the hard drive, uh, this, this uh, hi hybrid hard drive. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in this drive right here. There's a couple things that we have to take into account. The first thing we have to take into account is how this hard drive was sitting. This was sitting like this. Now, on this hard drive, I'm going to bring it up here, we've got screws right here, right here, in each corner. Now these are special screws for the MacBook Pro because they end up sitting in these little rubber stops, which it looks like one of the rubber stops kind of fell out. I got to put that back in really quick. There we go. Straight forward. And there's rubber stops over here. And that's what holds the hard drive into place. Now, with this, I'm going to take these screws out. And these are screws I'm going to put. Oops. And these are screws I'm going to put right in here into the new hard drive. This is actually a star hex screw. So I'm going to find my star hex screwdriver. All right, so I found my little star hex uh, screwdriver, so I'm going to put that in. I'm going to gently take these screws out, not putting them over the computer, because we don't want them to fall into the chassis and 
short something out or something like that. And by the way, uh, when you do this, you wanna make sure that your MacBook is turned off. I know a lot of you people just close the lid and, and go from there. I've actually seen a couple people say, well, I've tried to do it myself. I closed the lid, it turned itself off, and then I opened it up. And unfortunately, that doesn't turn it off. You gotta remember to actually do the power down sequence. So it's completely off. So the battery is not running, that there's no plug. Did you notice there's no plug in on this laptop? Um, and uh, yeah, so I've got that. And now I've got my hard drive all done with these uh, starlets. I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to put this into the SSD drive. Now, now you have your SSD drive ready. You can actually plug it back in if you want, right there. And you can place it into the eyelet holes. And there, your drive is there. Now let's go to the memory here. Now I've got my OWC memory. This, I had actually eight gigabytes of memory in here, but since I do a lot of video, I wanna have even more memory. So they got me 16 gigabytes of memory here. So all I have to do, um, first of all, let's take out the old memory. So I'm gonna reground myself. You should do that periodically. And then come back in, pull on the tabs, and the memory should just pop right up. Now, with the, with the SSD drive case, they come with the little plastic thing right here. I would set that to the side and put the memory just as you took it out right into the case. That way it doesn't touch anything metal, it doesn't shock. If you need to go back to that memory, you can do so. Now let's do that again. There, and now the memory is out. Once again, like I said, put it in the plastic. Don't set them on top of each other, set them side by side and go from there. Now, the new memory we got right here. And uh, OWC shows you, all you have to do is rip on the side right here to open it up. And then we can pull this open. And get ready to take the memory out. Now, with this, I would keep the cardboard side up and peel the memory off that way since we got the front paper off so the memory doesn't come popping out and flying across the room. So we got this extra junk here. I'm gonna move it off to the side and go from there. Now, before I touch it, I'm gonna reground myself because you never know, you might be rubbing your feet against the carpet or something like that. So I'm gonna touch metal and touch metal. And then I'm gonna come get my memory. All right. So now we've got the memory, we're gonna put that right into cartridge slot one, and we're gonna line that up, and it should slide right in without a problem. And then when we press down, you're gonna hear a click, and it's gonna have a little bit of springiness to it. It's not going to be touching the metal at all. But there we go, we've got the first, uh, we've got the first memory module in. We're gonna take the second memory module, wait for the clicks and you might even want to just push down on these side just to make sure because like I said they spring a little bit but it's nice if we if if we can keep it like that so we can uh, so we understand if they're in completely if for some reason it doesn't start uh, and you have memory errors or something like that instantly turn off the machine open it back up and reseat the memory modules. Uh, sometimes it's just one of the memory modules just didn't push in all the way. Um, if you take it out, put it back in, some, most of the time that resolves the issue. Uh, the hard drive, pretty self-explanatory. It, uh, it should be fine as it is. All right, and that is taking out the hard drive. That's taking out the memory and replacing both of these with OWC memory. We've got 16 gigabytes worth of memory in here. We've got, uh, now we've got a 480 gigabyte SSD drive in here, and we're gonna have a lot more fun. Now in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to take the DVD drive out, and we're going to actually replace that with this right here. It's called the DVD Data Doubler where you can put a hard drive in where the DVD goes if you don't use the DVD anymore. You can check that out. Well, we'll have that over at geekazine.com, uh, the Geekazine Geek Smack review. And uh, check all those out. We're going to have a series of three to four videos. So check them out and go over to Geekazine and see the other interviews and other reviews that I've been doing over at Geekazine. Thanks a lot for watching. Jeffrey Powers here. You guys geek out, and we'll see you next time.
next time. Take care.